All right. Well, welcome back to Dave the Diver, everybody. Uh, we learned a lot about Bacho's history last time. Fought the giant sea wolf and uh, got the magic mirror to teleport down to the Sea People Village. And uh, here on day 16 of our adventure, it looks like Dr. Bacon has some new thoughts to add. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. I was uh, at the Sea People Village yesterday. You... You what? What happened? Mm. Well, you see... It's a pretty good... Pretty good uh, recap. I see. I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. Mm. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Yeah. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but yeah. as you said, only one person can use the CP Premiere. What a pity! Ha <laughs> <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events. Yeah. If you need any tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yeah, so I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. You can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so is unable to be used at night. Oh, okay, we moved the jellyfish party to tonight, it looks like. All right. Well, we've got some new cooks to post. Let's check those out. Uh, <laughs> looks like Dr. Bacon got a little drunk. Aha, the ocean has such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk. Uh, Masami MC writes, nice and crunchy with the right with the night sea as a backdrop. That's this, the uh, the seahorse, roasted seahorse. Nice to see people hard at work so late. Was I really this drunk? How embarrassing. We also offer deep sea fish sushi. Please come by. And it looks like that's it for that. All right. <clears throat> Over in the weapon shop, we can now craft... Uh, we're working on the grenade launcher. Uh, let's see. And in terms of upgrades, are we there yet with the uh, the Trank gun? No. We still need... We need, Oh, we, we got the Brittle Starfish we needed. So this will expand the magazine to six and the, uh, the, the time to sleep to five seconds. So we can get four more fragments. We can get that set up. Uh, let's see. If we're going all the way down to the super depths, I'm not sure. Should I bring the trank gun or the, the normal rifle? Rifle. Rifer. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we'll just stick with the trank gun here. Uh, we do have a new email from Diver City. Best diving spot number two, Bajo Alcion. Uh, Hammerhead's Cocos Island. Hey there, divers. This is Diver City. Today we're introducing Hammerhead's Paradise of Costa Rica's Bajo Alcion. Uh, hammerheads can be found on Cocos Island, only accessible through live board. You can meet groups of over 100 depending on the season. I'm not sure what these emails are for. Maybe DLC? You can travel to other parts around the world? Maybe. Uh, America, music. Still no mini games here. I don't know when that's going to open up. And on iDiver, we've got 1,000. That's not enough for anything here. So we're going to stick with everything we've got. Uh, in terms of our loadout, yeah, we'll stick with what we've got here. Let's check the shop. I uh, don't want any of that. And let's go ahead and take the mirror and travel down to the village. Okay, so interestingly... We have some new stuff here. Um, in the upper left, we've got some sort of... It looks like a coin counter, perhaps? Uh, our oxygen doesn't seem to be draining, and we don't have a depth meter, per se. And then in the bottom right, we've got a credit meter. How much credit have we built up with the people? Is it enough to impress Tenzin, the, uh, the, the Sea People Village chief? And then in the upper right, we've got... It looks like a mini-map. Let's check the details there. Wow. We've got, like, a whole shebang here 
There's a whole like little little village here. So the game is like mutating and changing. What started as uh, like a like a roguelite fishing simulator is now like a little RPG, a little Japanese underwater undersea village RPG. We've got a restaurant, a seed shop, the King Long Square, a portal in the mirror. We've got the board, the workshop, the arcade, the temple. Oh, there's portals all over the place. And I guess there's people with little exclamation points over there. Those are gonna be NPCs who need, who have quests for us. So very interesting. I guess we can kind of swim around and take a look. Uh, I guess this first building over to our left, this is gonna be the uh, the restaurant. We can't read these, uh, these sea people runes. We can go in. Uh, I see a little bowl there, okay. All right, let's enter. Mima's Restaurant. All right, so there's too many people down here for me to do all these voices for them. So basically everyone down here is going to be Irish because that's what I picked for the sea people for whatever reason. Uh, so we're going to have a little, we're going to have some people running together here, but let's let's take a look at what we can see. Yep, the food is Mima's. What is it? Mimame? That Mimame is so good. It's really different than the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? Uh, there's the exit. Well, it's interesting to see people clearly have like a Japanese uh, origin, but I can't do like a, I can't really do a good Japanese rest, uh, accent. I can do like a mild one, which I think I did for like one or two of the characters. I think Maki's father and uh, somebody else had it, but like any anything more than like the very gentle one sounds racist, so that's the best I can do. And I already picked that the sea people are gonna be Irish, so we'll, go, we'll stick with that. Well, well, are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? <laughs> you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. No, I'm Dave. I'll I'll be helping out at the village for a while, I guess. <laughs> yeah, receiving help from a human? I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. A Wong and a Wong ordered lunch boxes. Oh, the, uh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you uh, perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in the front of the door? I should still be on duty at the gate. Uh, please help me out, human. Deliver Mima's lunch boxes. Okay. So where am I finding these lunch boxes? Uh, here we go. Okay. And then they must be at the gate, which was way over to the left. Let's talk to these people. Ooh, my first time seeing a human. Weird. <laughs> well, you're weird too, lady. What do you do with that mouth? You can't even breathe underwater. Man, some of the sea people are a little rude. Uh, human, what is it? Uh, I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. Hmm. These are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? Why would I? Well, all right, give it here. Good work, I suppose. Okay. Return to Mima. So, all right. So, uh, it's the it's a fetch quest essentially. It's a reverse fetch quest, which is the first quest in any RPG. Hopefully, things get a little bit more interesting as we move forward. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Oh, humans aren't half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. All right, we earned 10 bay and 10 credit. All right, let's keep going. Let's do some more quests here. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the mini-map. So we've got a seed shop with a quest over in this direction. Let's check that out. Now this guy looks like Otto. All right, well, all right. Hmm, are you that human? 
human, not human. <laughs> you look interesting. You don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. What's this shop you're running? I sell various seeds here as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers on the platform outside. Take one. All right, looks like we have a, a, a series of fetch quests to do here. Okay, we're taking a flower, and it looks like we're heading right to King Long, I guess. Uh, I have to say, the, uh, the Sea People Village is quite beautifully drawn. I still don't understand. I still don't understand how you have waterfalls underwater. I mean, I suppose. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, this is King Long, the statue. Oh, so this is this statue is of King Long. It's the same person as in the painting from the record chamber. I guess I could put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Uh, yeah, what I was going to say is I suppose the waterfalls could be a, uh, what is this? Uh, could be a, uh, a, a more dense liquid or something, but I, whatever. This is fine. We've got a portal here. Oh, neat. Fast travel. Okay, that works. That's fine. Let's head back to the seed shop where they grow underwater flowers. <laughs> you did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Okay. Ten more bay and ten more credits. Let's see, so the board was the other thing we just checked out. Uh, let's see, we don't need to go to Tenzin's house. There's a quest at the temple, a quest at the workshop, one at the arcade, and one at the board, I think, where somebody's standing next to the board. Let's go check that out. I guess we have, like, unlimited air down here for some reason, the magic of the sea people village. So we'll just sprint the whole way. You know what, I will check out what the board is. Okay, no active request, got it. What about you? Ah hee! Don't pop out of nowhere like that. See my gills pumping? All right. Oh my, I've never seen a human before. You have legs just like a crab? What do I do? Hmm? Kids, what's going on? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a Megamouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball. Megamouth? You mean the huge... Yes, uh... Hey, can you go get his back for us, human? Okay. Uh... It looked pretty scary. Mm. Oh, all right, I'll get it back for you. Wow, thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. Okay. Find the ball Megamouth swallowed. And we have to leave the village to do that? I don't know about this. Uh, workshop, arcade, temple. And then the village entrance. I guess we have to go outside and try and find a gun to beat the shark with? At least we're already down at the depths. I mean, that's something. We'll give it a shot. Might as well.
You know, we don't need jellyfish anymore, or maybe we do. Yeah, that, no, the jellyfish is tonight, so I'm, so it's probably a good thing we still brought the, uh, the trank gun, but I'm gonna, if I'm gonna beat a shark, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, swap it out for a better gun than that. Okay, so let's see, what do we have down here? Uh, the triple axle level two. Much less range. Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess we gotta take it. If we're gonna fight the shark somehow. So do I wanna go through here? Yeah, I do, okay. Now we gotta find the shark, wherever he is. All right, there's ammo. What do we have down here? No, thank you. So we're gonna have to get pretty close to the shark wherever he is. What is this? That's interesting. There's like a grate or something over here on the left side. Let's stay away from him. I don't wanna waste ammo on him. So wait a minute, where's the shark? There he is, okay. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. All right, let's do this. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, he hit so hard. I'm running out of oxygen, not good. Uh, how do I get more oxygen? I need to find some before we continue, before we continue fighting him or we'll just die. Gotta get oxygen first. Uh, none in here. Come on, clamshell or oxygen tank? Clamshell or oxygen tank? Give me something to work with here, game. There it is, there's the clamshell, all right. Damn it. Okay. Back to El Shark. Trick with this gun is you gotta get close enough to hit him, but but avoid getting hit. Well, I mean, okay, that's like that's like John Madden saying, you know, in, in the video game, saying like, to win the game, score more points. Not not the most insightful thing I've ever said. Oh, see, only one hit him. Only one of the bullets. I gotta get closer for it to matter. So I kind of gotta wait for him to, like, do a lunge here. There we go. Nah, it's still not good. Get away, get away. Two, two bullets hit him. Okay. There's three. That's good, that's good. We got one bullet left, though. Or one shot left. Got him! Okay, we got him in the end. That was just enough. Very good, very good. All right. And we get the meat. Uh, which is expensive. Mega Mouth Shark Meat. Okay. All right, let's get back to the village. Pick that up for later. Stay away from him. I will pick up some more ammo, though. And then we'll go back to the village and return the ball. Okay, not too bad. I, we, the, that gun is hard to use. You gotta be real close and, you know, the sharks hit really hard. We got it done in the end, so that's all that counts. Or that's all that matters, rather. One other thing I'd be interested to see is if it totally refills my oxygen here. Yeah, it does. Okay, interesting. All right, let's go give the kids their ball. That should be worth, I think that'd be worth more than 10, right? That should be worth at least 20. 20 credit and 20 bay, whatever bay is for. Presumably there's a shop somewhere around here that I can buy stuff at. Boop, 
<laughs> wow, it's the ball. He really brought it back for us. Oh, it was pretty scary. You kids stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. There we go. Ah, oh, it's only 10 credit, but at least we got 20 bags. Why do I feel so good about being rewarded with a fake currency that I don't even know what it's for? <laughs> I'm, I'm a gamer. Tenzin said you could stay here, right? Well, don't wander around too much. I've lived 200 years, and this is my first time I've seen a human. What are you doing here? 200 years? That's that's a lot. Okay, and here we are in, I think this was the workshop? Yeah, the blacksmith. Ooh, maybe the blacksmith can upgrade my harpoon. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business. <laughs> Uh, you look very ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Romo had asked me to bring it before. Lies. Humans can't be trusted. Uh, well, looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Pancho to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? All right, that's a multi-day, uh, that's a multi-day, uh, mission, I think. We gotta leave to find it, and then have Pancho cook it, and then bring it back, right? So, all right, let's take a look at the mini-map. What else have we got here? Uh, there's another person we can speak to, uh, and there's a couple more people we can speak to, and there's something at the arcade. Let's take a look at that. Oh. You're getting in the way of my farming. Okay, sorry. Moving on. There's a lady here. What does she have to say? How? Oh, it's a dude. Or maybe it, I can't tell. Androgynous. <laughs> how? How did you get here? Check out the arcade. Game parlor. Okay. Oh, there's people gambling. How can hermit crabs be so fast? Shark teeth and find the pearl. All right, so this guy's got games for us. <laughs> well, look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Let's play a game with me. Hmm. Okay. So I'm assuming Bay, we use the currency to bet. Uh, C person says, uh, I haven't won any money since humans came here. This can't be a coincidence. <laughs> this is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. Can't hold races. It's tough putting food on the table. And she's got a quest for us. All right, let's gamble first. Let's check out these mini games. Uh, shark Teeth. This is the game of sharks, which you play with Janak. Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of. Numbers between one and three are selected and whoever touches it first will lose. Remember the shark cavity. Okay, so that's the shining light, I guess, that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of. Numbers between one and three are selected and whoever touches it first will lose. Okay. Whoever touches the shark's cavities first loses. The rules are simple, give it a shot. All right, I'll bet 10 bay on this. Okay. Start with three. Oh, look at his, his fingers all banged, bandaged up from losing, I guess, or clicking on all the teeth. Okay, so we want to get to a point where he can't force us to touch it. Let's see what he does next, and then I'll have to try and figure it out. All right. So the lowest number he can pick is three, is one, and I think it's I think it's the third one. So if I pick two here, and he he picks one, he must touch the cavity. Unless it was one further over, but I think I've got it here. Ah! 
Yeah, got you. That was kind of fun. Okay. Let's try the other game, uh, Find the Pearl. In this game, you try to find the hermit crab that hid the pearls. Guess which of the fast-moving hermit crabs hid the pearls? Okay. A hermit crab stole the pearl. Find out which of the four crabs stole the pearl. Ha ha. Let's bet another 10. Okay, don't blink or you'll miss it. I don't know how fast these guys go. Bottom left, right? Yay! Okay. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's a fun little money mini game, but what am I gonna do? Sit here and play this on, on on camera for an hour? No. Do one game of each, and then we're done. Okay. Let's t let's find out about the quest here. <laughs> You're the human that's been wandering about our village, right? <laughs> what fancy decorations? What is this place? <laughs> We see people work hard every single day. This is a place of pleasure for the hardworking villagers. Oh, so I can't come in, right? That's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? She's flirting with him a little bit. Oh, right, you're helping out the village, isn't that right? Yeah, I, I guess that's how it is for now. I've been needing help with something. This establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. Recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. You should still be in the village. Will you go catch them for me? Okay, catching runaway seahorses, that we can do. Uh, come to think of it, Maki gave me a bug net. I think I could catch seahorses with it. All right, let's go catch some seahorses. Let's see, where would I find them? I guess I just swim around until I see them. Would they be up or down? How high can I go here? Is there a roof? How high can I go? Yeah, I seem to have reached the top here. Or maybe not. Hold on. He's still going up. I wonder if there's a secret up here. That'd be awesome. No, there's a there's a top. Okay. The big ass tree back there too. All right, let's head down and see if we can find some seahorses. They're relatively small, so this is gonna be kind of like a Where's Waldo mini game to swim past them without without like ignoring them, or missing them. I might need to take I might need to take the portal to get over there. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, there's like a seal carrying a basket of stuff. Oh, that's a that's a sea person, not not a seahorse. Let's see, where have they gone? Here, seahorse, seahorse, seahorse. Oh, that's hard to say. So far, I'm not seeing any of them. Huh? Oh, there's one. Oh, they get little blue diamonds. All right, that makes it much easier. All right. I got the giraffe seahorse. And here's another one. That is the hedgehog seahorse. Okay. And the other two must be up on the plateau. All right, so we need to head to the portal, travel up there, grab those, etc., and so forth. This is another fetch quest, but what can you do? At least the mini games were fun, right? So somewhere up here, there should be more seahorses. That's the palace. Tenzin's in there with uh, Ramo and uh, Suwong. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. Hey now, don't go poking about in the village too much. Oh, it's Suwong again. You might trip on seaweed, those silly legs of yours. <laughs> uh, he's rude. Rude and a braggart. Don't like him. I heard that this was the door previously used to go to the glacial region. Ah, but this passage has been blocked for a while. Nobody knows what state it's been in during that time. Yeah, that's going to stay blocked until early access is over, I think. So we probably won't get there anytime soon. 
Uh, let's see what these guys are talking about. Even though we pray earthquakes keep coming, is faith really enough to solve this problem? Don't say such things. The reason we're all still okay is thanks to King Long. That's right, worship. Uh, we'll avoid going in there for the moment. Let's see if we can get the uh, seahorses first. Oh, the ice of the divine trees melting little by little. There are more and more getting sick. Well, that's not good. Now, where does this go? Back there? Okay. All right, so, the, so this, these are kind of like one way back, but they only connect. They only go one way, I guess. You can't uh, choose. You can't pick and choose where you want to go. Still haven't found any, uh, any seahorses up here. Apparently, folks are getting sick, which is troubling. Uh, where would these remaining two seahorses be, then, if they're not... Would they be inside some of the buildings, maybe? Not seeing them so far. All right, well, since we're up here, let's go see what quest we get in uh, in this area. That's This is the temple. Uh, the King Long Shrine, okay. Is there a priestess? Is that who you are? Yeah, uh, Niamo. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, what's this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Huh? I heard from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Yeah, well, that's how it is for now. Hmm. In that case, I, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. We should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, that sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? In the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the sea people record chamber. He? Really? Okay. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. Okay. Uh, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the sea people record chamber first. Okay. All right, I'll try and bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. Okay, we got lots of missions now. Uh, I would like to find the rest of the seahorses, but I, I just don't see blue diamonds anywhere. I guess I can check inside uh, this area. They could be inside a building, right? Yeah, here's one. Okay, there is one in here. There's the crown seahorse, so we're looking for the dwarf. Dwarf seahorse is the last one we need. Hmm. Now, let's just make sure it's not over here to the left. No, it's nowhere, nowhere up here. Uh, so where else can we go inside of? to check. We can go inside the restaurant and the seed shop. We check over by the entrance. Maybe it's way over to the left? Yeah, no, I don't see it. Alright, let's 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 check the seed shop. Uh, any chance there's a seahorse in here? Yes, here he is. Okay, there we go. That's all of them. Alright, let's return those back. Or was there another one? Hold on. seahorses. Yeah, we got all of it. Okay. Let's get this let's get these back to the betting uh the gaming hall. And then maybe we can actually experience the seahorse race. That would be fun, right? So, we got to find the ingredients for the coral porridge and then we got to go find the stone tablet. All that is outside the village, right? Is there anything else in here? Uh, full list. Yeah, the winning song record. 
and then the coral, and all that, those are sub for, oh, I need two of each here, okay, keep that in mind. Uh, this was the workshop, all right, we need to go further. Well, he brought back all the seahorses. Well, they were quite difficult to find. Well, we can now resume our seahorse race. Okay, mission accomplished. I'll give you a seahorse as thanks for your help. Well, where can I get one? We'll speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the race course. Hope to see you around in the game parlor, human. Okay, talk to Yami. Who the heck is Yami? Uh, oh, over here. Okay. Oh, Yami. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of this seahorse race course. <laughs> I heard you caught all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lynchin already. We'll give you a nice, strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Let me get Jayakar's seahorse. Does that mean we can ride it? Hmm. Well, I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Yeah. Of course, bring them to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Select the register menu. Okay. This is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? Okay, so we've got a rank one Jayakar seahorse. All the stats are 18. Uh, hiring. Hire this seahorse. Okay. Good. Uh, next, select race menu to get ready to race. Uh, we've got some kind of bonus that's giving us from 18 to 22 here. I don't know. All right, let's race. This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, I suggest selecting course C for starters. Okay. Category normal, distance 100 centimeters, I guess. Participants one difficulty half a star. All right, this is this is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. Now then, shall we select a seahorse for the race? So they're, they've got some different values. Looks like our only real competition here is lane four, Oyaba. These are all sea people racing their seahorses. Right. Seahorse stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorses race, they need to rest and recover their stamina. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Cheer with A to increase the seahorse's speed and win the race. If your gauge goes past the green, you slow down, so be careful. Okay. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. It's insane. Okay, cheer. And then L up to jump. L down to slide. Okay. I'm trying to keep it in the green as much as I can, but I didn't understand what I was doing, so obviously I'm going to lose here. Yeah, we didn't even come in close. Oh dear, must not have provided an adequate explanation. Uh, don't worry, everyone starts off like this. Rank out. I have shamed my father. <laughs> so wouldn't my guy be tired? Yeah, he's only at 18 now. Okay. Uh, so we can't, we shouldn't really try this again. Not right now. But we can collect other, other seahorses and try that again another time. Okay. Another new minigame introduced, another new system. 
Well, now we gotta now we gotta collect some awesome dope ass uh, seahorses to race. Okay, let me take a look at the mini map here. We've we've acquired all of the uh, all the quests that we can. Uh, the remaining ones, however, require us to go elsewhere uh, to leave the village, and uh, that took quite a while actually. We're sitting at uh, 40 minutes on this episode, so rather than try to finish the day, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm Excuse me, I'm gonna head back to the surface to get the game to save for me. Uh, or actually, let me see what happens if I head outside. Maybe it'll save there. Uh, but we're gonna call it here. So, uh, as always, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, in the next episode, we'll, we'll finish out this day. We'll do what we can about collecting some of these uh, materials, the stone tablet and the coral for the, for the porridge. We'll fish up some jellyfish, and we'll head up to Bancho Sushi and do our daily uh, or do our D-Day event there. Let's see. Yeah, there's the saving icon in the upper left. So we'll continue from where we left off today. Uh, we'll start out down here and we'll go explore. We'll see if we can uh, find a, either a net gun or a trank gun and see if we can't uh, collect some more jellyfish, catch some more fish and prepare for tonight's, uh, tonight's meal. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to it because uh, that's what we're gonna do next. So. Thank you one more time for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.